I'd like to welcome um, Danny Shane to the show today. Um, did you um, grow up in a big family? Oh, boy. That's a great question, actually. I mean, it's not such a simple answer, my friend. Um, it's I have two brothers. I'm in the middle, right? Now it's just a normal type family, three kids. But what my parents did is that later on in life, they, they adopted a, a few other kids, the family, and we ended up with five boys. Mm. <laughs> so it was, it was kind of a medium-sized, almost big family. All boys, though. A lot of testosterone, a lot of energy. Okay. Um. What can you um, tell people about your music? Uh, my music, the music sound <laughs> is very country. Very country, kind of like the long styles of uh, Kenny Chesney or uh, Toby Keith, that kind of stuff. A little bit rock style country with ballads mixed in between. You know, you can slow things down and dance with your, with your loved one. Um, but I like to... I like to mix the lyrics a little bit with Spanish and English. And the reason for that is that I'm trying to see if I can, that my music might serve as a, like a cultural bridge between Spanish speakers and, and non-Spanish speakers in a musical way. Oh. So, but the musical sound is true to, true to the, the country style, just mixing up a little bit of lyrics so that maybe some people who aren't so fluent with the, the Spanish, I'm, I'm sorry, not so fluent with English can understand the lyrics as well. Because you know, Music country is always telling a story, right? And if you don't understand the story, you, miss, you kind of miss the whole point sometimes, right? Yeah. Um, you're like um, trying to build a bridge for different cultures. Absolutely, absolutely. Because well, I notice I've been I, not only me, but I've, I've been noticing other artists that uh, in, in, in you know out of Nashville, country artists who who, who who try to make a little bit more of a connection with the Latinos in America in particular, right? And, and they're doing it a little bit on the soft side, but trying to open up that door. Um, and, and you know, and so the Latinos are, are 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 receptive receptive to that, but a lot of times, you know, they don't understand the lyrics. So like, you know, I like the sound, it's danceable, and that sort of thing, but it'd be cool if I can understand the lyrics a little bit more. So I'm trying to fill in that gap because I speak Spanish pretty well, and then and just mix up the Spanish and English. You know, if you live around Latinos in the United States, it's, it kind of mix the, the Spanish and English together and all in the same sentence, right? So I kind of do that as well, so that maybe we can capture some of those more people and, uh, and better make a better connect culture. You know? um, how many years have um, you played music? Uh, when I, um, that's like one of those questions that like, everyone says the same thing. You know, I was like, I had a good, I was born with a guitar in my hand, you know, that sort of thing, right? Now, I can't tell you that, but I can sure, I can sure tell you that. Um, let me see, um, at, at nine years old, um, I started taking music classes, right, uh, in, in, in my primary school, and, and never stopped. I just, so, so I have, I studied through the school system, the you know, private school system, from, from primary school to high school, and went later on to university and continued to play and study. And the styles of music that I was typically studying was, was, was symphonic music, right? Classic music, because I was, I played trumpet. Um, and then I had my alter ego side, you know, because I'm kind of a product of the, the 60s and 70s, you know, so those great rock bands from those times and that evolution from Led Zeppelin, you know, and, and then a little bit later on the new revolutionary style of the, the, the rock bands kind of like Van Halen, right? And that, that whole thing was kind of a fluid scene the country music. So I, I wanted to experiment with that as well. So I had my wild hair side where I, I wasn't li reading, li I wasn't reading music, right? It was just a spontaneous reaction to, to, to whatever came, came out of my soul, right? And then I had my discipline side, which is like Mozart. Everything is cut and dry. It has to be a perfection, right? So yeah, long time, long time. So in, in, in mostly, mostly in, 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 in my adult life and bands and so forth, a, a, a general blend between rock and, and country music, and these last uh, seven years strictly uh, country music thing is what I'm working on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you um, have any kids? Oh yeah, I do. I have um, have five, three boys. I have five children, three boys, two girls. Um, they're in the state of Oregon. Um, three of them are out of the house. The other two are finishing up high school, and um, 
So yeah, it's kind of a big family for you know for American American family, right? You know, kind of toss things off at two kids and a dog, right? And I just I just go for five. I'm a little bit crazy, I guess. <laughs> um, what do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, spare time, aside from music, which is which is what I usually do in my spare time. I, just, I, I love listening to music. I love playing it. If I can't hear it live, then I've got my favorite tunes here that I listen to. Aside from that, I love the outdoors. You know, I, I grew up in a rural rural environment in Southern Oregon. Um, I love the mountains. I love the fishing, love the hunting. I just love that nature connect, you know. Um, rafting, kayaking, all those sorts of things I love to do. Down here in Peru where I'm at, I can't do it as much as that because I'm in the Amazonian jungle, right? So we have a lot of mountains close by. We've got a lot of water where we can do a lot of great fishing. Mm. Um, where do you see yourself in um, 10 years? 10 years. I hope I hope that I don't look any older. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, another 10 years down the road, geez, I, I, I'm really looking forward to the doors that open in front of me with, with my music. Now things are starting to move a little bit more forward and people start to take note of what I'm doing and getting better recording, better artists and those sorts of things involved. Um, I'm looking forward to those cool relationships, you know, meeting new friends, getting out there and travel a little bit more. Um, I, I hope that in 10 years that, that maybe maybe I've, I've made somewhat of a con contribution, a positive contribution in, in connecting the, the, the Spanish-speaking world with, with, the, the, with you know, the United States, right? Mm. Through the, the, the mechanism of, of country music. I think that would really be cool to somewhere down the line and say, hey, you know, we look back, you know, 10 years ago, you know, let's say we're ten years in, in, in forward, and, and, and people say and you're doing a special, and say, "Hey, how did how did all this stuff get get going now with so many Latinos and around the music country?" So maybe someone say, "Hey, you know, one of those guys that was involved now with Dan Shane." I, I think that'd be kind of cool too. You know, have a positive impact with the with the music and that one. Um, how can um, people uh, listen to your music? Well, locally, I get out a little bit. Uh, the local scenes here. Um, every now and then, I public, uh, publicize that stuff. But, uh, I don't, I don't publicize a lot of that stuff because it's small here. It's about you know, less than 100 people. Um, these are just kind of things like keep them in the to keep them fresh, keep the people a little bit excited about that. What I'm trying to do with the music. Um,